brothers Bowden, Geordie and Scott Barrett made history simply by taking the field for the All Blacks in their first of three tests against France on Saturday, with New Zealand running rampant in the second half to win 52-11. Fly half Bowden, full back Geordie and Lock Scott were the first trio of brothers to be named in an All Blacks starting 15 for a test match and made a large collective contribution as New Zealand extended its winning streak at Eden Park to 41 tests over 24 years. It last lost at the Auckland Stadium to France in 1994. The Barrett brothers' headline moment came when all three handled in a first half try to Bowden Barrett, which allowed New Zealand to counter an early try to France winger Remy Grosso. France took an 11 8 lead to half time but was destroyed after the interval. The Barretts surrendered the spotlight in the second half to an extraordinary ensemble performance by the All Blacks who scored 7 tries and 44 unanswered points. The headliners in the second half were winger Rico Yoane with 2 tries, hooker Cody Taylor, who scored a try and provided the last pass into others, and replacement full-back Damian McKenzie, who scored a try and also created another for the bulldozing centre in Garni Lomape. RFU hike ticket prices with England vs All Blacks to cost up to £195 Two of those tries came when France were reduced to 14 men after Lock Paul Gabrielegs was sinbined by English referee Luke Pearce for a high tackle on All Blacks centre Ryan Crotty. The tackle appeared clearly legal, around the chest, and television replays showed the 25-year-old was nowhere near the inside centre's neck or head. Gabriel Eggs left the field with the score locked at 11-11 and returned with New Zealand leading 25-11. We were behind on the scoreboard but, as soon as we drew even, the boys really picked up again, All Blacks captain Sam Whitelock said. Bowden Barrett joined his two brothers Geordie and Scott in the All Blacks side, Getty. The other key to the magnitude of the victory was New Zealand's ability to steadily increase the pace of the match in the second half. France were fully competitive through the first half, stunning New Zealand with Grosso's try in the seventh minute. New Zealand were surprised by the ferocity of France's rush defence, and efforts to speed up the game often led to errors which relieved pressure on France. But there was a sublime moment for the All Blacks in the 21st when the Barrett brothers combined to create New Zealand's first try. Scott handed off a short pass to Geordie in midfield and, after the involvement of Crotty and Anton Lynott Brown, Bowden scored in the left corner. The introduction of uncapped prop Carl Tuinakua from the bench in the second half stiffened the All Blacks scrum and helped turn the tide of the match. Cody Taylor celebrates after scoring a try, Getty, with a one-man advantage, New Zealand began to play with more freedom and tries flowed. Taylor scored from Bowden Barrett's cross kick in the 53rd minute, then provided passes which made tries for Ben Smith and Mackenzie. Mackenzie in turn fed Lomape, who crashed through the tackle of Maxime Medier to score. Yoane touched down twice and Ardi Sevilla powered over in the embrace of four French defenders in the last minute. We have to believe in ourselves, France captain Mathieu Bars towards said. I think there was too much surprise to lead after 40 minutes and we have to work on that for the next game. Reuters AP follow the independent sport on Instagram here. For all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.